The supplementary feeding consists of us dropping sweet potato and carrots to these fire affected colonies. Our current estimate is that 80% of rock wallaby habitat has been impacted by these fires. But it's that time between the actual fire event and the time in which it takes for food to regrow and that we needed to supplement these populations to ensure their persistence and essentially ensure the species persistence as a whole. Food drops aren't a usual response to normal bushfire activity, but the extent of these bushfires has meant an opportunity to provide some food to those species that might be at risk. It's really promising that some of these endangered species have survived the bushfires and that there are individuals out there eating the provisional feed. It really gives us confidence that we can save some of the remaining populations out there. This is one of many programs that we've been involved in over the past months in response to the bushfire crisis and it's only been possible because of the generous donations we've had from our supporters so it's been wonderful to see. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. It enables us to partner in these vital programs to help our precious wildlife.